Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rechach, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, Elder Bishop the Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing his word and truth and sincerity. It's your brother Chanak coming back with another lesson through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rechach, Wadash. Quick little short lesson, Lord's will, straight to the point, uh, edifying, pray that it's edifying to the hopeful elect uh, in transit lesson as I'm driving. Um, this is something I was uh, thinking about uh, this morning, I want to say this morning, spirit is still on me to, to get to it, um, and it's basically, just give me a second, people keep acting weird, it's, it's basically how uh, Yahweh Shai is going to come back. All right, because the people of this earth, even though they ignorantly call him Jesus Christ, the majority, the two major religions is is uh, Islam and uh, and Christianity, right? The two major religions, and within Christianity, you have the Christians speaking about how you know, uh, you know, they love Jesus. They can't wait. To, they they can't wait till Jesus comes back, but they're they're not actually um hastening or waiting for who they ignorantly calls jesus we know him as yahweh shai and he's a dark-skinned man he's an israelite from the tribe of judah and uh as a whole this world is not looking for yahweh shai to come back all right yet he's going to come back uh like a thief and this is something i, I was just kind of thinking thinking about earlier today how uh, Yahweh Shai is going to come as a, as a thief in the night. Just if you think about a thief in the night, a thief comes at night, you know, when, when everybody is asleep, you know, you in a deep rim sleep, you know, and, and it cracks open that window, you know, and, and he slides through the window. Ne next thing you know, he's there upon you, and there's nothing that you can do. You in your, your, your pajamas, you in the bed with your woman, and there's, no and there's nothing you can do. And that's how the Lord is going to come back, all right, um, and to this realm. He's going to come back like a thief. He, he's coming to uh, rob uh, Esau, Edom, the other nations of their dominion down here on earth. So let me let me just go on to this. There's a couple of precepts, all right, because <clears throat> this this world, they don't, they don't know what the hell is going on. And even though we're telling them that Yahweh Shire is coming, they still have that disbelief. But what if some did not believe? So this is um, Revelation. And it, I don't know if my phone, it, it keeps tripping. Let me, let me take this out. Lord's will, the audio is good. You know, my phone kind of tripping, connected to the, uh, the Bluetooth. So I'm going to try to speak a little louder. Uh, Revelation 16 and 15. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Okay, this is Yahweh Shai talking. He's he's coming as a thief. He's comparing his second return to a thief. Okay, a thief that comes in the night. Behold, I come, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth. All right, watching for what? What, what should you be watching for? What well, the prophecies? And we 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 constantly bring out prophecies and and let you know. You know how, you know the prophecies are coming to pass, and, and basically giving you updates. China's doing this, Russia's doing that, Iran is doing this. Look what's happening in Israel. Look, look at look what's going on in the financial system. Look, Esau's fighting each other. Look at this earthquake. Look at this uproar. Look at this bill that's being passed. Look, we're moving. We're moving closer to the MOTB. We're moving. We're moving closer to this. We're moving closer to that. Look, look. They just did brain. They did just did brain chip uh, uh, trials. Okay, look look at this. Look at this legislation that they passed. Look at this bill that they're trying to pass to take more of your rights. This is this is going to usher in the famine of the word. All right, look look at this 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 uh, processing plant that processes uh, a flour or sugar or, or chickens. It, it blew up. It's all of a sudden. Look at this bridge just came down. So we're we're constantly warning the people. Okay, we're we're constantly watching. Okay, 
right? Because the, the, the scriptures say in uh in, in Ezekiel how the Lord he set us up as watchmen on the earth. Okay. It says, Behold, I come as a thief, blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And in, in, in the garments is speaking about the truth. Okay, because you have uh, individuals that come into this truth, they'll accept, they'll accept the word. You know, they'll even some of them would even start teaching. And then what happens? They get disenchanted for whatever reason. They stop believing for whatever reason. All right, and they cast off that garment. All right, and they go back into the world. So when Yahweh Shai comes, he's going to see you without that wedding garment on. Which is this truth, this knowledge, this understanding. Okay, that the the wa, that's part of it as well. It's it's not an actual garment. It's it's speaking to um, the truth. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go to Luke Luke twelve. It, it should be like a, reg, uh, a relatively short video. Luke twelve and. Bear with me. Right, Luke 12 and 30, 30, 34, uh, 35. Let your, let, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord. Right, we're, we're waiting for the Lord, okay? When he will return from the wedding... Like we just read in Revelation 16 about that garment. That when he when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. It is not speaking, he's not gonna actually open a door, knock on your door. He gonna go, he gonna go throughout America and knock on the elect's door. No. This is speaking to when this is speaking to his coming. How do we how do we know he how do how are we gonna know he's he's gonna he he came? Well, all eyes are gonna see him. There there is gonna be no um there's going to be no confusion when Yahweh Shai comes back. Okay, all eyes are going to see him. The whole earth is going to see Yahweh Shai, and he's also coming with the angels. All right, so there's 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 nothing that you can do um, in that day for you know the, the world pretty much is going to stop. We're going to be in the height of World War Three. World War Three is actually going to be missiles are going to be flying. In America, when Yahweh Shai comes back, when when things get real serious, that's when Yahweh Shai is gonna come back. I want to get that in uh, Second Ezra 13 too. It, it it plays right into this as well. How he gonna come to the astonishment of them that dwell upon the earth, right? Because when you when you you deep in a deep sleep, and there's there's a man or two men standing over you and your your woman, okay, and and, and you you wake up, you you're you're an astonishment. You love. You you don't even know there's this absolutely what, what can you say? You're frightened. He got a shotgun right there to the barrel to your, your head. What what could you say in that day? So none of, none of you individuals are gonna have anything to say in that day, all right? Because number one, you're not looking for Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is not on your mind, especially this world. You go you go up to these people and you ask them about uh, uh, the Lord coming back. They you know that's not really in there. And they're, you know, that's not on their mind. They're not actually waiting on the Lord, okay? <clears throat> Give me a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> they're they're not actually waiting on the Lord. They're they're occupied. As we're supposed to be occupied in prophecy, they're occupied in in their affairs here down here on the earth. But you know, the, the, it talks about that in uh, Matthew the sixth chapter. The heathens, how they they worry about what they're going to eat. They worry about their clothes. They whether they worry about you know the, the things of the flesh. All right, we we are to concern our thing concern ourselves with the things of the spirit. Okay, uh, um, add into the spiritual man. Okay. Because when Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, as a thief in the night, he's not coming back as a thief in the night to us. We gon' we we actually know he's gonna come. 
we 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 are actually preparing for him to return. All right, so it, it's not it's it's gonna be a surprise in the sense like wow he's here, but it's not gonna be oh whoa, whoa what's going on what's this? The, the people it's an alien invasion is this is that. All right, th th then they're gonna find out what it really is, okay? But they're gonna be in conf they're, they're gonna be in a, a confused state. They're gonna be astonished, okay? 37 blessed are those servants whom the Lord when he cometh shall find watching see verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them so Yahweh Shai is going to actually serve the elect in the kingdom the elect the elect prophets will be watching for uh, Yahweh Shai to return okay they will be actually occupied in prophecy they will be uh, uh, me measuring out the, the, the prophecies uh, according to the scriptures okay looking at the signs that the, the heavenly father left us to to uh, observe okay and applying knowledge wisdom and understanding of the scriptures what well, the scriptures say that um, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our times okay 38 it says and if he shall come in a second watch or in a third watch, because in an angel world, there, you know, when you you had a, a guard tower or whatever, right? You would everything, you know, you watching in the movies. Oh, uh, I'll take the first watch. And I believe a watch is either three or four hours. Uh, I, I have to go back into that. A watch is it like, is it three? Is it four hours? I believe three or four hours. So whether he comes in that first watch. Or he comes in a second or the third watch. You're watching, and the watch you the watch is, is synonymous with synonymous with being at night. You're watching at night when it's dark. You have you have to have a watchman out there to make sure. Why? Because your enemy is usually going to come in the nighttime. Your enemy is going to come and sneak up on you. All right, that's that's part of the art of war. You you want to you want to come when your 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 enemy. All right, it, it, it's nice and, and comfortable and sleep. He, he, they're not paying attention. They're, in, you know, they're resting. That's when you want to come. That's how Yahweh Shai is going to come. He's going to come where when it's eating and drinking. All right, there's some some type of normalcy. Okay, the people the people don't have the Lord in their mind at all. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come. He would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. So basically, if you knew that the Lord was going to come at a particular time, all right, he, he's coming at uh, this time. You know, he's coming at uh, 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 7 p.m. 2025, January 8th, 7 p.m. 2020. Every Israelite would be on guard. Every every Israelite would be on fire. Speak, if they knew for uh, for certain that Yahweh Shai was coming back at that time, Jake would get right. All right, but since they they don't, since we don't know exactly what time he's coming, and then you have certain individuals that have a time limit on, okay, if it's not in five years, then I'm gone. If it's not 10, uh, see, I've been wasting 20 years of my life. He didn't he didn't come when I wanted him to come. Okay, because you, you expected the Lord to be on your time. We, we are commanded to watch whether he comes in the first watch, the second watch, the third watch. Okay, he come in the daytime. It don't matter what hour he come, right? It, it, you, you're watching. Okay, watching is read uh, as well as praying, right? Be ye therefore ready also. Yeah, be be ready like you know a thief is getting ready to come. The good the good man, the strong man. Okay, if he knew that there was a thief coming, he he would be. He would be right there at the front door with, with, with a weapon or, 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 or waiting, waiting for the thief to come in through the window or the garage or whatever, the roof, the chimney, whatever it may be to catch him, to get to get to actually surprise the thief. So in like manner, be also ready. OK, don't don't allow the return of Yahweh Shai to catch you off guard because all the signs of him actually returning are directly in our face that we can observe okay world war three the
the the, the MOTB, the C hip. Okay, uh, the, the 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 tribes coming back together. Okay, the the prophets and the false prophets, the scoffers and the scorners in the last days. Okay, the hireling. Okay, you you got um. This this the, these wars these wars rumors of wars, uh, com uh, uh commotions upright. So everything's here. Everything's on the table. Okay. Be ye therefore ready also. For the Son of Man cometh at an hour when you think not. Which another scripture reminds me of. Um, let me get that. Romans. Romans 13. Okay. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time. All right. We know, we know and understand the time. We measure the time. Second Ezra the ninth chapter, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Yeah, things things are getting ready to to, to go down. I mean, how much how much more things need to happen? You know, you know, we we we're you know we're five years off from this happening. Nah, we we're we're at the point of any moment now, any any crisis, the next big crisis. Which is usually going to bring in, more than likely it's going to bring in, we already know it's going to bring in the, the CBDCs, the digital currencies. It, it, it's going to bring in the digital ID. It's going, everything's going to turn digital, the next big uh, chaos. Okay, more, hey, it could be the, uh, the cyber attack, multiple cyber attacks, attacks on the grid. You can have certain skirmishes. It could be a, a number of things all simultaneously. They show you that in um, a little bit of that in, um, in a civil war, the movie Civil War. Okay, they show you that in, in the movie Civil War, how things things was chaos. There was the other the other one. What was the other one on Netflix? Where um, where uh, what was it called? There was the cyber attack, and that's mainly the one that they they're really pushing that one. You know, it's it's a whole host of things that the Lord is going to actually release. And this is going to test a lot of you Israelites' faith. And guess what? It's also going to put a lot of you Israelites back to sleep. Because you, you never have faith in the beginning. Even though things are going to begin more serious. All right. The, 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 the unbelief is still going to be there. Even though all the signs are there for us to see. The Most High. I did a video the other day. How the Lord is blocking. He has the angel blocking the minds of our people. For them not to, uh, you know. For them not to uh, be able to see. I'm, I'm done there. Let me go to second Ezra. We'll probably just close it up there. I mean you could go to uh, first Thessalonians 5. When they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Okay. Uh, second Ezra 13. Alright let me see where I want to start. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the point. Second Ezra 13 and 29. Behold, the days come and we're, we're in those days. OK, we're getting ready to be knee deep in Jacob's trouble. Uh, uh, really uh, neck deep. OK, we're going to be fully, fully submerged in Jacob's trouble pretty soon. OK, behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. Right, because we. See, we, we have hope of being delivered. See, these people, they, since they're, they're wicked, they actually don't want the Lord to come back. They, they want to uh, continue, you know, they want to continue to party. They want the party to keep going. They don't want the lights to turn on, the music to stop. All right, the security guards will usher everybody out, out of the party. They want to keep this party going with Esau. You know, Esau, he want to keep it going. He want to stay in power. He wants to uh, implement this, this MOTB and he will implement it. OK, he, he will implement the MOTB. He will have the chipping stations. He will be uh, chipping you Israelites. These Israelite, these false Israelite groups, these leaders, they will give you some way out excuses of why you need to take it. Why it's not the uh, the, the MOTB in Revelation 13. OK. 
verse 30. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. See? Let's look at this word astonishment and then we're going to close it out. Astonishment. Great surprise. Look at that. You, you could type it in yourself. I just did it in Google. Astonishment, which means great surprise. Similar, amazement, surprise, shock stupefaction bafflement bewilderment confusion perplexity the scriptures talk about perplexity incredulity the scriptures talk about incredulity disbelief but it, it you're gonna believe you're gonna have to actually accept it, it you're gonna you're, you're gonna have the incredulity you're not gonna be you're not gonna have the ability to believe but see that's gonna get thrown out of the window when the lord actually returns revelation 1 and 7 all eyes shall see him disbelief dismay okay speechlessness ah wonder wonderment so people are going to be speechless where well, they're going to be actually mourning when the lord come back and he going to be he going to be jacking them up he going to be jacking these nations up all right so you know this is a quick little video hey uh, keep watching till next time shalom to the left